Better proof, right? Well, how about this? The Southern Highlands. You'll hear me mention it for the rest of my life because a lot of structures are there. What are these objects covering and see-through that we can see the craters on the corners? Why is this stupid object? I can see it. It's pretty obvious. They're pretty dumb if they wanted to hide that from people. Maybe I'm ahead of my time. I don't know why I'm able to see them so easily because honestly, they are easy. Nobody can prove to me that those are natural structures because they're not. <laughs> they're absolutely not. They're not craters either. Imagine me showing you this. Hey guys, look at the beautiful craters, the impact craters. Wouldn't I sound a little stupid telling you that these are craters? Because that's what NASA is telling you. So those of you who believe NASA, <laughs> oh boy, you're in for a, um, a very sad day. when Guys, you can see the white crater through the black screen, whatever that is. Why? What is that? I've showed you over 40 squares that are covering corners of craters. It has to be something not natural. And you can see the other black object at the back. Black is the theme this week, right? I showed you black triangles, pyramids. I showed you black lines. There's these black screens. There's black structures. It's a black project. Pretty sure. Surprisingly, this might be a part that a lot of people are not interested in. Nobody's talking about this covers and screens and objects that are being built over the corners of the craters. This research is pretty unique and the findings that I'm bringing to the table here are all different. And the research that has been done for the past 50, 60 years, I'm sorry, but it's just one little file of, you know, pixelated shit. And that's what we got. And now with this high powered scope, we can see for ourselves and there's no interest. The most overwhelming part for me was to see the clouds. But when I saw it, I said, yeah, that makes sense. You know, there's an atmosphere there also. You could say that it's a crater that's rotting and it's the rock that's, you know, uh, it could be right. The degrading of the rock, the rock is rotting and then you get the methane gas or whatnot. But be honest with you with all the ufos that you see going by over the moon all the structures and like don't forget i've filmed many a times ufos going to the moon and leaving the moon and then the only thing that's missing is a base or one structure and sinus iridum the promontorium at the end of the apple bite is definitely an area of interest and it exposes it all. At the back, there's a haze, a mist, a fluorescent, colorful purple haze over top of purple haze over top of what looks like structures. And I'll tell you what, when I say structure, it doesn't mean someone is inside of it. It could be a machine, it could be a mountain, or quite simply a platform that was cut out. But it's definitely not natural. <laughs> 